So I got a call about an hour ago about a swarm up here in Arcadia, Indiana. One of my friends here, Corey Nash. And uh, this is the second swarm I've caught at his house. This one's nice and low in an apple tree. The other one was in a magnolia tree. Uh, this is Mother's Day, uh, Sunday night, May 12th, about 9.15 p.m. They're nice and do docile right here. It's about 70 degrees, uh, 20 degrees Celsius. We move around closer as we go to catch them. So these bees are in a small apple tree. I'm going to see if I can just sh shake them right into the box. I have the box down below here. I don't know if it's going to, you can see it a little bit there, but get better lighting on the bees. We're going to have to go here. And, uh, uh oh, oh, there it is. Brought my lamp, my red lamp. You can see the bees there. Kind of. And we'll see what we can do here. I don't think I'm going to be able to find the queen, but I'm going to look real quick. I'm going to put you on pause for the moment. Okay, I am not seeing the queen, but these bees are in the bivouac here. And I'm going to put this comb underneath them and see if I can draw them down into this hive. They are crawling on it, if you can see that at all. I don't want to put white light on them because then they'd get attracted to the... But they are smelling this comb. So we're going to do the best we can. It's getting hard to see here. It's getting dark out. I'm going to scrape as many as I can onto this. This frame. I'm going to get them down in this box. There's one frame full. See if we can get another frame here. Oh yeah, they're crawling all over this comb. I don't want to break their apple tree. It's a small one. They are getting all over this comb, which is good. There's two. I'll take a quick look. See if we can see a queen. Nope. There's two. Oh yeah, they're loving this comb. Getting smaller and smaller. Probably about a two pound hot uh, bivouac at the most. It's a little swarm here. Trying to get them drawn onto this comb. They're doing pretty well. I have to break the apple tree. I have to get my brush out here. They're fanning. There's three. <laughs> Let's use a fourth one here. Again, this is extra comb I had in my garage uh, that I recently got. From somebody. Still looking for the queen. It's hard to tell in this red light. They are loving this comb. Let's see if I can shake them a little bit. All right, I'm going to see if I can grab them here. Put this headlamp on. Okay, there's another. It's four. They're fanning pretty darn good, calling them, calling the bees down here. All right. Let's see what I got left here. Quite a few. I got another frame. And I'm just going to see if I can do a quick shake and drop them. I dropped most of them.
They are liking this comb. Let me put this back up in the tree here. There's still a lot up here. It's hard to get them off the tree. See if I can get this comb to rest here as they work their way into the hive. Make sure I'm not kneeling on any bees. It's getting kind of dark to see here. I don't know if I can turn a light on. If I turn a light on, it's like I said, it's going to draw the bees in. I don't want to do that. I don't want them to draw them to the camera. Let's go down that way. You can let's see what we got going on here. Just a few bees. This next frame back in. I'm gonna put this other frame up here. Let's see if I can brush these bees off of the, the tree. Get them down on this comb. They are going down into this comb pretty darn good. Sweep them off the side. Take this comb. It's another good group of bees. I'm getting to that point in the year where my I got to have my comb protected by the bees before the wax moths get to them and high beetles. I noticed today I moved some bees from the garden apiary and they got onto the uh, and I put them in the box at the house that is queenless and I noticed that the uh, high beetles are starting to take that over so I got to get this swarm into that box and we'll see that in the morning as soon as I get these bees on here I'm going to move this box to the house and combine it with that middle hive and then they'll have because I got some brood in there that I added and that will get rid of the laying workers if there are any and because uh, this this swarm should have a queen or two I'm just trying to seal them in here it's doing a pretty good job of brushing these leaves off these bees are fanning really well you can hear them so I'm going to take you off the tripod and we'll move move you into this tree if you can I can have you see the bees there we go so as you can see here there's still a small little amount right up in there kind of a weird the red I'll sweep those down but you can hear the bees see them all there all fanning get that shadow off there we go so we're looking pretty good let me pause you again finish this up okay listen to these bees Excuse me, I just sneeze there. Good painting. We're taking it aside really well. You can hear them.
Alright, well, I'm going to seal these bees up and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Be lost by lip tack. Have a good evening.